Hey everyone, it's Damien from mdgear.com. So today I'm going to do a review, initial reaction of this Protector Deus cover uh, that I got from pro-tector.co.uk. So there aren't many uh, Deus covers available on the market. There's the one from Deus that's kind of like a, a plastic cover. Um, but they made it kind of opaque instead of transparent and I haven't tried it yet. I haven't ordered one because it's with shipping it's like $20 to send it to me. So I've been a little picky about exactly what I want to cover my Deus remote with. Um, and so the one from XP seems okay protection wise but it doesn't look like you can see the screen through it very well and I haven't really seen any YouTube videos of people um, uh, with it on their uh, remote. So the one that looked good was this one from Protectors in uh, the UK and here's how much I spent on it with shipping was $24.03. Uh, the cover itself is £9.50 and then you spend another five pounds in shipping, so 24 bucks was uh, what I spent on it completely in. So, um, I don't love it, I have to say. The couple of things I don't love about it is, I'm all one for marketing, but I don't really love this giant patch he sticks on the back of it. Uh, I don't know, I'd rather have just had one on the end or a little something but this is this is kind of obnoxious I think taking all this real estate with this big rubber thing with this bull and his logo and such uh, so it's a neoprene and plastic cover for the Deus remote first of all if you could see that it came with like a nick in the plastic see that like you poked it with something before sending it to me uh, I'm sure that's going to be in my screen and be annoying. So the, the Deus remote's kind of sticking there at the at the bottom. Uh, and it would lock on your shaft, clip on like that. Uh, you know, it's it's a decent amount of protection. Uh, I did try to order a screen protector for it, but it was one for a cell phone, and it was kind of rigid, and it just kind of slid right off. It didn't really stick. Uh, but on the other hand, I hate bubbles. I can't stand putting screen protectors on. Uh, and, and getting bubbles in the screen under the screen protector. So this seemed like a good solution to keep just the, the dirt and muck off of it, not completely waterproof. But as you can see, it's already kind of starting to ride up on the on the pinpoint button a little bit, making it kind of hard to press the pinpoint button. So and it does leave the bottom of this kind of exposed. Uh, it doesn't cover this completely, the bottom. So. I guess the things I wish were that the um, that it didn't arrive with a, a chunk or a nick in the screen. So it's at the top of my screen, which isn't too bad, but I can still see it there. It's still bugging me a little bit. Um, so it's but it's solidly made. It's it's well stitched. Um, so I don't love the giant rubber logo stuck on the back, and um, the fact that. As you can already see, it's a little hard to press the pinpoint button. Uh, but I have not really been using the pinpoint button much. The more I detect, the less I use the pinpoint button. I kind of just use the wiggle the coil just off the target to kind of figure out where it's at. This is okay. I, I just kind of wish I'd paid uh, 10 bucks free shipping than 24 bucks with shipping for this. So, um, I don't know. I guess on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this about a six as is. Uh, I think it has room for improvement. And subscribe if you like my content up there or somewhere, wherever it is. Check out my blog at mdgear.com and as always, thanks for watching.